Hey, what's happening, Nation? It's Joe Q. I hit 6,000 subscribers. I cannot tell you how much that means to me. I seriously do appreciate it. I have been grinding out videos over the past few years, and I honestly never thought that the Nation's voice would become what it is today. I know I have a ton of new subscribers, but I have dudes that have followed me since my very first show, and I cannot tell you how much that shit means to me. When I first started off doing this, I was really just doing live shows, just constantly back to back to back, and I had a few guys that would always show up, catch up in Oregon. You have no idea how many times I did shows to where it was just those two guys in my comment sections. That shit lasted for like three or four months. But just them being there and me having a chance just to talk Raider football with just a few other people is all I ever wanted out of this channel. And the fact that it's become what it has blows my fucking mind. And thank you so, so much for that. And I know I have pissed off a good bit of people over the past few years. And I'm not going to sit here and apologize for it. It is what it is. People have incredibly strong emotions and incredibly strong opinions about this team. I just like to come out and put my opinions out there. If you agree with it, so be it. If you do not, feel free to let me know. As long as you're not a dick about it, I'm going to take it with a grain of salt and just let you know how I feel. See it from your point of view, and that's what makes this whole damn channel work. And that's what the nation's voice is all about. It's what it has always been about. I do my damnedest to avoid the rumors. I do my best to avoid all the bullshit that you just hear from the talking heads on a regular basis. Just try to stick with the facts that are actually happening on a day-to-day -day basis. Instead of just diving into every article and every story that I read, I passed that shit a long time ago. I have a lot of respect for the people that do do it because it is a true grind to bust out videos on that regular of a basis. But I've said from the start, I am not a Raiders YouTuber. I'm just a guy sitting in his basement that likes to talk about Raider football. Nothing more, nothing less. And I know that I built this channel off of the actual live shows that I did do, but my schedule just does not allow that shit right now. I would love to get back into it. I'd love the way that my live show was set up. But I was screwing around with my little cutouts, and I did come up with an offense and a defense that I did want you guys to check out. The offense is pretty basic. It's pretty much just a little pro form that I wanted to put together. But I wanted to put Waller as one of the outside wide receivers. I know we saw it a few times under Gruden. I just want to get your guys' thoughts on it. Do you think we will continue to see this under Josh McDaniels? I know this is an extreme mismatch on the outside I have no idea why we would not pull this shit off this offense is set up exactly like it is right now just because I fully plan on putting Drake into motion putting him over into this little slot spot then you have Drake and Renfro playing your slots you have Adams on the outside Waller on the other outside that shit is insane what defense is going to be able to keep up with that the linebackers are completely screwed that safety is not going to know what the hell to do and if you cross Drake and Redfro, one of the outside receivers is going to end up breaking deep. And Waller in a one-on-one -on -one versus any corner in the NFL is a win for us. I honestly thought it looked pretty sick. You could still motion Drake and run out of this to Jacobs. This is really a versatile package. I'm really curious to see if the Raiders actually run this this upcoming season. I don't see any reason why they would not. Like I said before, put your freaking playmakers on the field and let them make plays for you. I'm loving this look as it stands right now. Give me just one second. Let me switch over to the defense real quick. All right, moving over to the defensive side of the ball. Tell me this shit does not look insane. I know I'm going to catch a little bit of hell for this, but I still truly believe in my heart that Mullen and Rocky Sin are going to be our starting outside cornerbacks. I wanted to get Everett mixed into this defense. I wanted to have Hobbs on the field, and I wanted to have Merrick playing that top safety. I got Diablo and Brown playing the outside, and then I have Abram just playing the headhunter predator position that he truly belongs in. Lining him up right in the middle of that defense will let him tee off on any running back or any tight end coming across the middle. Brown and Diablo have the speed to cover those little outside flare routes and the little running back out of the backfield that eats our shit apart. But if they want to come across that middle, Abram is going to make them pay every single fucking play that they try to do it. And then that defensive line, you can shuffle this around however you want it. This is my personal favorite look. In my opinion, those are the best front three that we have on this team. And if we're only running three defensive linemen, I want to see it be those three guys. This defense does look insanely fast. But right now in the NFL, speed kills on either side of the ball. And you have to have a defense that can keep up with these explosive ass offenses that we have coming down our throats on a weekly basis. You have to be able to put up points and you have to have a defense that can stop the other team from dropping 40 or 50 on you every fucking week. We finally have that shit and with the offense this new regime has put together, we are going to be the team that is dropping the insane amount of points. We just need a defense that can keep the other team off the field long enough for us to be able to drop 35 to 40. 
I'm excited as shit about this upcoming season. We need to squash all this car talk. We need to squash all this Waller talk. We need to get that shit taken care of and then everything else will fall into place. I have no doubts that both those dudes are going to be on this team moving into next season. And as long as that happens, I have zero doubts that we are going to win the AFC West Championship and we are going to hold on to that shit for a long, long time. So let me know your thoughts on it, Nation. I really do appreciate it. Thank you all very much again. Until next time, I'm Joe Q, and we will catch you all on the next one.